Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bella. I have a service dog named Chewy and a service dog in training named Rip and a bunch of other animals. And today we are going to be doing like a feeding video. So let's get started. So I always start off with my cats because they'll scream at me the whole time. So I have three cats who eat in my room, but only two of them are in here currently. So, um, we just get them right here. They get a mix between Taste of the Wild and I think it's like Friskies or Purina something. I don't know. Um, so. So, her will goes there. Next, I would typically feed my rabbit, but he still has pellets from last night. So, we're not going to get him any, but we have to give my guinea pig some pellet. So, I just have this little scoop here. It's supposed to be like a, a bowl or something. I don't know. But I use it as a scoop. It holds about two, three tablespoons. And this is enough for my guinea pig. Next up is the dog. So, we have three dogs to be feeding. Two out of the three are raw fed. And normally I would use a spoon for this, but all we have is a knife. So... It's all frozen. So, Riff eats his raw food twice a day. So, it might not look like it's fully balanced or might not look like there's enough food for him. But, trust me, there is. He just eats twice a day, so I just split it in in half I guess you could say this like today he does get to eat two chicken feet which that never happens because normally my chicken feet are really big but the ones they gave me are really small I'll just get the rest of this for his dinner well that looked like barely anything it all like went to the front so normally when I'm feeding my dogs I always feed Gus first and he uses this bowl because you can't hear him, or at least I don't think you can, but he'll whine the whole time, and it gets on my nerves, so that's why I normally feed him first, but for the sake of this video, he'll be eating with the rest of everyone. So we just have some sweet potato that's like parade. I made this. It's really simple. Just boil a sweet potato, chop it up. You can skin it, or you can leave the skin on. Sometimes I leave the skin on, sometimes I skin it. Um, Chewy's more picky about sweet potatoes, so you kind of have to mix it in with his food. I've not put in the kibble inside of Gus's bowl yet, but I will. I'm just going to put all his little additives in the bottom. Next up, I have some canned salmon. I normally like to get fresh salmon, but when I bought this, all the salmon was out of stock. So, we had to go with some canned, which it's fine if you feed canned salmon. It's not going to kill your dog or anything. I know people will get so crazy about it. It's not that big of a deal, guys. Like, some places don't have fresh, like, certain fresh things, you know, so you have to buy a can. I'm trying to use it up because I feel like it's going to go bad soon. I had to freeze it for a couple days because... I just didn't want to be giving it to them every day. So in the morning, Gus gets... My cat is like sniffing up here and I feel like she's going to try to jump. So in the morning, Gus gets a cup of kibble and then for dinner, he gets about a cup and a half. So I hydrate it almost every day, but sometimes I like to give him a little break of having like hydrated food because I know with Chewy... Whenever he eats kibble, if you hydrate it, like, every time he eats it, then he won't eat it. But if you, like, sometimes give it to him dry, then he'll eat it. He's, he's weird. Okay, now on to supplements. <clears throat> so this is not something I give every day. I give this, like, twice a week. This is just some yeast. I find it would be really good for the dogs. I even give it to my rabbit, my guinea pig. I just give them the smallest amount possible because you don't want them to like get too much yeast and then it can cause like a yeast infection and that's just, they don't want that. Barney's Perfect Poop. Hemp Seed Hearts. Fresh Sunflower Seeds. 
some parsley flakes. They don't get these every day, but just give them a little bit every now and then. Helps keep the breath nice and fresh. Some ground turmeric, something they also don't get every day. They get this probably three times a week. I used to give them golden paste and then I ran out, just haven't brought myself to make more. And then last but not least is bee pollen. I found this better than giving them like allergy supplements and stuff. The only dog I have that could possibly have any type of allergies would be Rip. I don't, we don't know if it's for sure allergies, but it could be, or it could just be he just has dry skin. But this stuff works, okay? Like, get you some, you ain't gotta get the expensive $20 one, okay? This was $10. I've had it for quite a while, and I'm only halfway through, so I recommend getting it. Every day, they normally would get fish oil. Sorry, I just forgot what it was called. But whenever I give them salmon or sardines, I don't give them fish oil because I don't want them to get too much omega like oils. So today, they won't be getting any. Comes meals. Go ahead. 